A long time ago, Darwin came to our island. The stories that he told, well, filled my granddad with wonder. And he told me so that I could tell you. Boo! Oh, hello, Sam. Granddad, I wanted to frighten you. Why would you want to do that? I'm practicing being scary because I need to protect myself. Being scary is one way to protect yourself, but there are lots of other ways too. Are there? A long, long time ago, there were two fish that were best of friends. Tracy the triggerfish and Percy the little pufferfish. One, two, three. Ooh, where to hide? Where to hide? Nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Hey, slow coach. What now, Chico? I'm meant to be playing hide and seek. Knock, knock. Who's there? A fish. A fish who? Have you got a cold? A cold? No. A tissue. <laughs> right. Very funny, Chico. I suppose that's why they call you a clownfish. You. Shh, Chico, I'm trying to hide and I don't want Percy to find me. I know a far better hiding place. Oh, no one will be able to find me here. You know I can't hide in sea anemones. Their tentacles sting. So how come Chico can hide in the and then anemones if they sting? Because he's a clownfish. Clownfish are covered with a special slime that covers their scales and stops them getting stung. Hey, slow coach! She's over here, hiding in the coral. You think you're so clever? Yes, I'm fast and I'm funny. What can you do? I can do this. <laughs> not bad. And that's not all. <laughs> Try and get me out. That's clever. How did you do that? Her spines lock into place so no one can pull her out. Oh, and by the way, I found you. Oh! Okay, Mr. Slowcoach Clever Clogs, what can you do? Um. While Percy was thinking what he could do, a big hungry barracuda was swimming around looking for something to eat. I can laugh at your jokes, even if they're not funny. I can... <gasps> Percy! Watch out! <laughs> you are amazing! So that's why you're called a puffer fish. But how did the puffer fish get their puff? Well, a long, 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 long time ago... There weren't any puffer fish, only trigger fish, who were able to squirt water out their mouth and turn sea urchins upside down. Then one day, a trigger fish found out that if she swallowed the water instead of squirting it out, she could puff herself up to make herself look bigger. She was particularly talented at puffing herself up, and so were some of her babies. These babies did well and had more babies who could also puff themselves up. And after a long, long, long time, there were lots and lots of... Pufferfish! <laughs> exactly! So if I drank lots and lots of water, would I be able to puff myself up? Why would you want to do that? So I could scare someone off if they wanted to eat me. Tracy and Chico weren't scary, but they still managed to protect themselves, didn't they? Well, yes. So what do you have that protects you? Hmm.